Hello, 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 warriors. Welcome to Keon Plays. Same year I love Battle Party. Let's continue on. Toshi Maeda story. I dashed down the hall, throwing myself into an empty room. I said, wait. He's going to find me. Trying to catch my breath, I look around the darkness. Ah. Keon. And you barge in the room, his voice harsh. D damn it. Where are you? I hold my breath, start staring out into the room from a gap in the close closet door and use hair and kimono are completely disheveled whatever that word is so much different from how I saw him earlier in you I want to jump out of the closet to talk to him but more than that I want to do what I have so that he can be happy. Even though I was so prepared to leave him in front of Lord Toshihiza now, perhaps it's because I am finally seeing him disparate that is shaking my resolve. I press my hands to my mouth, trying to keep myself from accidentally crying out. Please just leave. Please just leave. Because no matter how I feel, I have to stay away from you. Keon, if anything happens, tell me. I'll protect you no matter what. Got it? So they say, but I don't really think it will end up in the hands of that failure of a son, his either. Do you think I care about being the heir? You go to be the heir. It's not my place to decide. First, I have to keep an eye on her. I cannot allow anything to stand in the way that Toshi Ie is finally resigned to his fate after 10 long years. I, I've always wanted to be the one to protect you. I only ever fought because I swore I would make myself strong enough to protect you. My goodness, what a beautiful hairpin. My brother told me to give it to you. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell me, silly goose. To be honest... With yourself, listen to your heart, screaming his name, then let it out. Go. Listen to my heart. Ingu, I'm on my way. I don't even know how to express my frustration with everything as my memories of him flood in my mind. Outside the closet in you back is to the door now, and he is walking away. He didn't find me. That's fine. That's good. But as I watch him go, I can't stop myself from crying. I try desperately to hold back my sobs, burying my face in my knees. In you. But my heart, I am screaming his name. 
Keon. What? There you are. In you. In you slides open the closet door. The moonlight stains in behind him, blinding in the darkness. Why did you come after me? Same to you, in you. Why did you? Why did you leave? I can't hold back anymore. The moment I see him, my hands fly around the back of his neck and I cling to him desperately. Why do you always find me? Why? He returns my embrace, crushing me against his chest. Ah, it's in you. He's always been so gentle with me as if he doesn't know his own strength. His desire to protect me lingers in his touch. But it is not just a desire to protect me. It hurts in you. It hurts me too, Keon. <laughs> when he says my name, when I feel the warmth of his touch, when I know the sensation of his hard, strong body, that is how I know that he is here, really here, holding me just as tightly as I am holding him, desperate to never let go. To be continued, warriors. To be continued. But don't worry, we're going to continue on. We got a letter. Do, do, do. About your decision. I do not have long on this earth. Which is why I must stand for the good of the Maeda clan. I am sure you understand, don't you, Keon? Yeah, yeah, jerk. He's an asshole. I didn't mean to say that, but it's, it's the truth. He is. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. Let's go. Episode 9, Truth Made Words. Air Echo Castle Tower. Uh, sorry, I had a burp. I'm sorry, I had a really burp. Echo Castle Towers over Lord Sasa, but he just snorts and kicks the dirt uh, at his feet. Sasa, what kind of name? Why would you name your kid that? Sasa. Hmm. You dragged me all the way here for this tiny little castle. Oh, Hideyoshi. Talking to yourself again, Sasa? Oh, Hideyoshi. It's you. Did you already finish speaking to the gatekeeper then? Yeah, we shouldn't be letting any minute. So that's how it is, even though we came all the way here in person. He's not going to give us the respect of seeing us at the gate himself, huh? Lord Sasa... Agitation seems to force his hands into his hair. Apparently, Toshi is giving his formal introductions as the new lord of the Mayana clan as we speak. I would suppose we'll be lucky to see him at all, considering that we just turn up. Hmm. I can't believe that brat ended up with a castle. The night birds cry overhead as Inu holds me in his arms, 
those strong earnest arms. Keon, his warmth seeps into my skin. KG's words once more make their way into my thoughts. You want to see Ingu. Ingu's over right there. So you go over there. Easy. At the time, I wasn't able to bring myself to agree with him. But now that Ingu is here, now that I can touch him, I know exactly what he meant. He was right. It's the easiest thing in the world. I moved in his arms just enough to look up at him. He looks anxious, upset, but I smile at him with the smile of someone who loves him more than she loves anyone. In you, I love you. What? No matter if you become a great man in the eyes of others or hardly able to be called one at all, even if you share your future in your life with another woman, my heart will never change. In you, my heart will always be yours alone. But you, that's why I came here to tell you. I couldn't stand the thought of my knowing how you felt and you never knowing that I felt the same. I, I'm sorry. My feelings caused you so much pain. And you regret is clear in his voice now. Bum, 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 bum. I'm clicking on it, but it's not going. Oh, okay, good, it went. And you regret is clear in his voice now. I'm gonna say it's all right. It's all right now, but all of that doesn't matter anymore because I love you and you. Hmm? I know. His tears. I mean, he tears his eyes. Wait, bleh. he tears his eyes away from me, as if he wishes he could leave his own body from the shame. But I don't feel ashamed or embarrassed, even though I was sure that I would. The moment he changed his mind and opened his cl that closet door, my heart knew what it wanted. Nothing else matter. Now that I've told him, I feel so free. Like I've had a weight on my heart I never knew was there until it was gone. It's so strange that it took me so long to realize just how much I love you. I love you too, but... But... There's something I should tell you. What's that? I look up at him curiously. Even more curious is the fact that suddenly the blush off his, is off his cheeks. His look is so severe that I think I should maybe pull away. Oh no! Where did you come from? Oh no! Oh no, you think? She saw the whole thing. She was watching us. Oh no. Over his shoulders, I can see the shadow of Lady Sigurdia standing in the hallway. Lord Tushi Hot his eye is beside her. We have to get away from each other. I quickly tried to part from him, but he won't let go. <laughs> In you, 
your brother and lady Sayuri. What about them? They've been here the whole time. Huh? His embrace tightens. And then... In you... He lifts me into the air and throws me over his shoulders. What What are you doing? Put me down. Yeah, right. I know you. You run. Besides, if I do this, it means that I can't run anymore either. What? <laughs> That's so funny. He's like, I don't give a freak. They can watch all they want. I'm clicking on it. I'm clicking on it. Okay, it went. Good. With that, Inu carries me out into the hall, stopping in front of Lord Toshihiza and Lady Serio. Serio? <laughs> what the heck? Serio? Why did I call her freaking Serio? I'm just gonna call her Seiyu. Seiyu. Toshie, you do know what you are doing. Of course I do. Ah. Lord Toshihiza sounds like he was giving up already, pressing his fingers to his temples. Lord Toshie, Serio, Seiyo, come with us. I, I wonder what she thinks of him now. That he's not speaking so formally. Though she looks puzzled for a moment, she nods and follows us down the hall. Lord Toshihiza, Lady Seiyu, and Ingyu walk out to the porch. I, of course, am still slug over Ingyu's shoulder. Hey, old man Aku. The night birds take flight in masses from the trees at his shout echoes through the darkness. On the opposite side of the garden, a door slides open and an old wizened face peeks outside. Huh? In you? What is it? Sorry, but could you get everyone out here for me? I've got something I have to take care of. <laughs> I'm old in you. You shouldn't ask so much of me when I could drop dead, you know. But he still turns to go into his room. And a few moments later, the door opens. Several of the retainers are there, their eyes wide. In you, just what are you doing? I mean, going to do? Not that knowing what would make me able to do anything, not being slung over his shoulder as I am. All the maids are also in the room as well. Oh, hey, Dad, and hey, in you, what are you going to do with Keon? Keon, I mean, ugh. Cage's carefree way of handling well. Everything is even more jarring than usual. <laughs> I can feel in you take a deep breath. Whatever. I can. Yeah, let me read that again. I can feel in you take a deep, slow breath. Yeah, he. Yeah, he. Yeah, it was that. I am well aware that none of you are particularly satisfied with who I have become. His resonant voice echoes through the garden. However, I have every intention of serving you well as a man I should. I will become Lord of the Maya clan. If you have any complaints, tell me now. I intend to take them into consideration. When I reform myself into a suitable lord. 
Toshiie. Okay. I failed as a son. I have a filthy mouth and I'm a battery little bastard on top of it. Saying nothing of how I in neglected my own family for last 10 years. You're a rude little thing too. That's right, I am. Self-serving. Hey now. Self-centered. That too. And from what I hear, you weren't really doing too great in the older clan either. Yeah, maybe not. And you stink. That's right, I... <laughs> I do not. <laughs> KG, what the hell? What? You were the one who said you wanted to hear complaints. You're just mad because you brought it on yourself. The other retainer starts to chuckle and then laugh. Even I can see that their expressions have started to soften. Finally, one of them says something. Well then, take this. You're not a half it, the man your father was. Nope. You're hot headed too, unlike Toshihiza. I know. But he's nice though. The laughter dies down, silence once again fills filling the air. And you sh shrugs, adjusting my weight on his shoulders awkwardly. I'm so not a nice guy. Oh my boy, it is your kindness that has left you wonder all this time. Gramps. Speaking of kindness, who is the goddess you have kept close all this time? Is she a gift to the family from your travels? Go goddess? Huh? Come on now. What part of this troublesome woman would be? Suddenly, he looks over at me. Ah. Silence. He cannot look away, even as it turns awkward. Gradually, a blush rises to his cheeks. Anything but a goddess. What? We can't hear you. That's right. She's a damn goddess. Any of you have a problem with that? One more time. One more time. And then I'm going to end it. Where did this come from? I'm sure that my face must have even been redder than his. Woo! Who's that stuff? KG whistles, Luli, and no one bothers to try and stop him. I would suppose that this strange woman showing up out of nowhere has to be a shock. But even so, Having all their eyes on me is strictly uncomfortable. In, in you, you keep quiet up there. I'm pretty sure steam would be rising from the top of my head by now, but in you just turns to say you. Say you, I'm sorry. Find a better man who can treat you how you deserve. My heart was stolen long before you saw my face again. Lord Toshi. 
She presses her lips together for a moment, but just as she opens her mouth to speak again, what kind of moron are you? Everyone turns towards the sound of the sudden outburst. Lord Hiyoshi, and how did even get Lord Sasa here? You two. Nuri Masa. Huh? Does Lady say you know him? Lord Sasa levels a fierce glare at us, but I don't miss the way he is fuzzing with his hair. Here I am trying to get together our strategy for Note 2, and I'm stuck in the middle of this, this pathetic little show. The Maeda clan is clearly no threat to anything, are they? Um, you do remember the thing about sh us showing an announcement, Lord Sasa? But Lord Sasa just sighs heavily, ignoring Lord Hiyoshi completely. I doubt this lot even knows which end of the gun points out. Gun? What about guns? I don't understand. Why is my army forced to protect a bunch of deuces? If you want to say something, just say it. Now, now, let's just... Why in the hell does Lord Nubunaga choose to give his favorite to this filthy tramp over me? Don't even start with me, you bastard. Where is this even coming from? Ingu, sit down. Huh? Lord Toshi, his eyes steps between the two of men, looking down at Ingu with ice in his eyes. Well, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Stay off, take care until next time. Key and play Samurai Love Bow Party. Toshi A. Maeda story. What will happen? Will Hideyoshi stop the fight? And will Sasa stop being a bitch? Who knows? Stay off, take care until next time. Key and play Samurai Love Bow Party. Bye.